I've got some absolutely awesome news to share with you guys. My dreams have come true. Also, my bug out moto van is loaded and ready to go. I'm about to leave. I've got some new mods on the van that I want to share with you guys and a lot of great news. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today make sure you guys are staying safe out there on the streets by wearing the gear and if you want to get my gear like this airbag vest to help keep you safe i never leave home without it or my ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an auto tent shield my moto vlog camera all of my gear i include links in the description and comment section of this video oh man some great fortune has come my way guys as you guys know i've been looking for a property a uh, homestead property with a lot of acres unrestricted land a nice house i've been looking in the mountains for over a year and i'll tell you guys that finally a property came through that hits got it has everything that i wanted guys and more for a sick price and i caught it as soon as it came on zillow like within the hour i put an offer on it and put a 24-hour expiration period on my offer and of course it was a cash offer and i was the first offer and they accepted my offer guys and it only went thirty six hundred dollars over the list price and it was the list price was low guys for a house that's like a, a 2010 house that was rarely used it was the original owners that built the house it's on a bunch of acres with wooded lot a little bit of open land very private in the mountains uh unrestricted land but anyways i got my bug out moto van loaded and ready to go check it out check it out i got some new mods here man but look it's got my refrigerator packed up got my freezer packed up which by the way if you haven't seen the full tour of my bug out moto van which carries a motorcycle by the way and allows me to live in it while i travel across the country uh, i'll include the tour link in the description and comment section of this video got my clothes laptop this is a murphy bed that folds down and underneath the bed as you can see i've got the tool kit here i got a, a amp a sub with an amp in it got custom speakers here got my clothes that store underneath here so i'm ready to roll got my tool strip here solar controller here check it out got another solar controller i, I got my uh, got everything loaded my pots pans got my food up in here check it out yeah got the dog food skittle diddles going for a ride you head out to the mountains check it out solar's popping oh man i got my two lithium batteries by the way guys if you do a bug out moto van build make sure you get the lithium battleborn lithium batteries guys these are the best 100 amp hour i have two of them extremely expensive man but it is worth it you get a ton dude i run my refrigerator my freezer all the way down to to the highest level it's like it here's the temperature with 22 sometimes it's 16 but enough to keep it frozen i run my fans you know i've got my dual fans here i've got my uh my my vents here and i got another fan i run everything lights everything in here and still it doesn't even use half the the battery capacity is awesome of course i've got another auxiliary battery here that's 150 amp hour agm battery that i use just for some minor things for my solar water heater check it out see i got a new my new mod that i want to share with you guys check it out is i got a new water pump that other water pump i had sucked man and this one is super quiet to keep me stealth and it's variable um, so as i turn the, the pressure down you can go down as low as 17 psi uh, this allows me to use it as a, a faucet and also a shower in back of the van see that i could take a shower back here or it's used as a faucet the magnet on there you put it on there bam check it out now check this out the water pump on so you don't hear nothing right so you check it out see how quiet look at nothing it's not on and here's the valve switch look at that look how low you can put it see that 
that helps me save water or I can do full blast and then it cuts off. Now listen how quiet it is, look at that. And of course I have it draining out the bottom of the van there, see that? Cut the water pump off. I'm telling you, awesome water pump. I have a link to this water pump in the description and comment section of the video if you wanna get it. I did a full build series to show you how, to, how I built this van step by step. And I have a whole nother channel dedicated uh, to this bug out moto van life. Uh, go subscribe to it, youtube.com forward slash bug out moto. Okay, just put the bed down. This is a Murphy bed, by the way. And it has storage underneath there, as you could see earlier. As you know, I have a 32 inch LED TV here, which I turn this on and it has four cameras around the van, uh, which shows me what's going on around the van because I don't have any windows to see what's going on. Also, I got a TV antenna on the roof, really small, but it picks up channels, local channels really well. Um, it's awesome, man. I can't wait to head out. It's been a while. The last trip I went on, I went to the North Carolina mountains um, last year. I just went on a quick little trip out there to check out a property um, that I ended up not getting because I didn't really care for it much. By the way, guys, I have yet to see the property I have a contract on, um, but I did get it fully inspected. Um, and the inspector told me if I don't buy it, he'll buy it. He said it's beautiful. So I can't wait to go down there and check it out, guys. Um, so I'm going to be headed to the mountains. I want to travel around. I'm also looking for some more land too, um, because I'm going to sell this house here. I'm actually, um, have a realtor that's going to be showing my house while I'm gone selling this. And I'm going to probably, I'm thinking about getting an Airbnb property in like Montana, like a little cabin on a couple of acres or something, Montana, uh, maybe Colorado mountains, somewhere really different, you know, but the property that I'm going to look at down south in the mountains is going to be my main property. It's going to be a homestead, guys. I'm going to have it set up sick. Um, I'm going to build a, a custom garage for my bikes. Ah, it's going to be awesome, man. I can't wait. Um, also, as far as the next motorcycle, I've been holding off because I, because I had a feeling that if I buy a property, I don't want to have to move two bikes so that's why i've been kind of holding off guys but i have some test rides coming up here i want to test ride the new uh, r7 when it comes out i want to test ride that new aprilia tuono v4 1100 factory man that thing is pretty sick guys i want to test ride the the new v4 street fighter in all black that looks pretty sick um the triumph speed triple i want to try that bike i want to try the triumph rocket 3 too. I'm really curious to see how the torque is on that and I'm even gonna test I want to test ride some Harley Davidson's to share with you guys just to you know I, I'm only to be fair to Harley Davidson I only test rode one bike and that was a 2015 Harley Davidson breakout and I tell you that bike was so slow and boring guys it was a beautiful bike but very slow and boring and I know all their bikes can't be like that so I hear a lot of good things about the new bikes so I'm curious to try it out and see how it is uh, maybe i can do that on this bug out motor van trip go hit hit up some dealerships where i can do some test rides because around here you can't really test ride much and another thing is because of the situation we're in everybody and their brother and mama are buying motorcycles now which is a good thing but the bad thing is that motorcycles are hard to come by man if you go to the dealerships there are a lot of them are there's not too many bikes on the floor used bikes are getting top dollar i sold my bike for what i paid for it that uh, mt09 that 2020 mt09 so the used bikes are going for top dollar they're going fast i know i told you guys i wanted to get a used older motorcycle but they're so hard to come by guys you know what i'm saying so i'm probably just gonna have to get new but i don't need another liter bike guys it's too much for the street i tell you honestly all i need is this bike this is a 2019 yz 450fx custom supermoto i did a full build series on i have a link in the description and comment section of this video um, but this requires a lot of maintenance you have to do oil changes like every at least every 10 hours so every like two to three rides um, you're supposed to check the valves which i've never checked the valves on it i've got over like 70 hours on this thing and it's it's still it rides better than it did new 
Um, you got to do a top end on it where you got to change the piston or everything, probably about every 100 hours. So this is not a bike you want to make a main bike to throw a lot, put a lot of miles on. My new location where I'm going, hopefully I build a custom garage. I can put as many bikes as I want in there so I don't have to be, you know, moving bikes around here. Because that's why I got rid of, I had four bikes at one time. But it's crazy just moving the bikes all around the garage and trying to get out. And it was just irritating bumping into bikes. So hopefully I have a... My own custom motorcycle garage. That'd be sick, man. But I got a lot of good things coming up, guys. Check this out. I, if you didn't know, I, I I did some mods to my golf cart here, which I picked up for $700 off of Craigslist. I put a new seat here that folds out into a bed. Um, I put a rat roof rack on there. Um, put a little stripe in the front. So, stereo system here that I put in there, waterproof speakers with the speaker pods. Um, I got a bunch of other mods I'm doing to it. I got some lights that are going up here. I got a uh, gauge I'm putting on there. Some 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 extra lights on here. Um, I was gonna put some, some custom wheels on here. Then I was gonna flip it for like 3,500, 4,000 bucks and make a couple of grand off of it. But I just wanted to share the updates with you guys, let you guys know what's going on. I'm getting ready to take this bug out trip. So it'll be awesome. Van's already loaded, ready to go, baby. Tell me where I should go. Leave a comment below. Tell me where I need to go after I go check out my property and then tell me where I need to go. Anyways, guys, please leave a comment. I want to talk about it. I need your help. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my All of One Motorcycle channel and make sure to check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. Deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.